good servant, but a bad master. And all so-called civilized peoples have increasingly become crazy and self-destructive because through excessive thinking they have lost touch with reality. That's the same. They can be signed with the real world. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back and I'm finally back on YouTube, boys. It's been a long, long time. But uh, yeah, man, we're here, man. And we actually have a, a subscriber, Simpai. What's up, bro? What's going on, bro? Alright, yeah, basically he noticed me as a subscriber, but uh, yeah, man, it's really good to be back on YouTube and stuff like that, but yeah, this is, uh, he said, what video are we going to make? We're making Roblox Mobman, you guys, so if you guys are new, subscribe, leave a like, and if you could, guys, I support, or just by subscribing, or just commenting in general would help me out so much, but yeah, with that being said, guys, let me just tell this guy I'm recording really quickly, because I don't, I don't want to be like, rude or anything. Alright, anyways, uh, yeah, so basically... Here we go, we're gonna basically, um, do our little mod menu thing, I guess. I mean, like, this is the bomb hacker menu, so, like, I haven't really recovered, I haven't really recorded this in, in such a long time, just because of just, like, like, you know, I don't know, it's just, like, bomb hacker kind of just, like, has been uploading the same kind of mods over and over again, but I'm pretty sure that he's actually added some new stuff to this menu, so this would be really, really cool, so let's check out some mods here. First mod we have is the infinite jump mod, you guys know this one. It is a classic, but yeah, basically you can jump infinitely and it's really, really cool. So from there, guys, we also have the fly mod, which basically means if you hold down this, you're going to be flying like crazy, which is really cool. Let's actually head out to the yard. Let's get on top of the prison because we can actually do that with this fly mod. Um, I actually don't have enough stamina, so let's just wait for that. Uh, no clip, walk slash a walk, air walk and wall hack. Okay, so that's really cool. Um, I don't know why the menu is just so big. Can we actually change that? Can we change this? Okay, there we go. Anyways, there we go. So we now easily access the menu. But yeah, so from here, we also have the... Uh, let's go back to the actual mods because I think we got a little bit lost in our settings here. There we go. So we have the escape prison mod, which I don't know why. When you turn it on, you just don't escape prison. So like, I'm not really sure how that works. But uh, yeah, man, shout out to Simpai for, hey, if you're watching this video, man, comment down below. I'll actually pin you just because you actually got lucky enough to be in the one match that I was in. So shout out to you, bro. But from there, guys, let's go ahead and check out some more mobs. You can have a jump value. So I want to check this out. You guys can do high jump. So you can just jump so high up in the air. We actually might even get on top of the prison over here. I'm not really sure if he's using mods either, but it'd be really cool for like me and him just like chill out on the roof or whatever. This would be so cool. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm an admin on the server. Uh, one of the moderators of the server just randomly said, Hey, Pelican Mafia, I recognize you from your videos. And he literally just gave me admin, which is hilarious. Because I was not expecting that at all. He just literally gave me admin, which is just cool. Um, and then from there, we also have the Ragdoll V2 or no, V1. I'm not really sure about this. I guess when you die, you Ragdoll in a different way. But there's three different versions of this, so that'll be pretty cool. We'll turn on one for now. Uh, we also have the no clip mod so if you turn this on you can actually walk through walls it's pretty cool you know you like your typical no clip so we're just, as you guys can see we just walk straight through the walls and it's just completely hilarious how you can just walk through everyone's like cells gel cells um because they're not like expecting that at all so uh, apparently senpai is my friend apparently i've ad actually added him i think before in a recent video which i think is really cool um, but yeah, with that being said, let's check out some bun the bunny hop mod. So basically, I think if you turn this on, or at least you hold it down, uh, it may bunny hop. I think it might not just because of all the mods that I have enabled right now. But you guys kind of get the point. It's like a bunny hop mod from like Call of Duty. You guys remember you cut it on, your character starts bunny hopping around. Um, and then from there, we also have a different walking animation. Um, it does feel like my walking animation is a lot more stiff now than it used to be. That might just be me, but let me know. From there, we also have the fly, unlimited stamina reset character. So you guys know how earlier it said that we had unlimited, we were basically saying that we had a certain amount of stamina and that we ran out. Well, basically, apparently now we have infinite stamina. I'm not really sure. I can see it going down, but let's actually see if that's true. Okay, so we're actually able to jump even though it says you don't have enough stamina. So I think that does kind of go around it and kind of like avoid that. We also have the climb mod, so basically, actually, let's go somewhere else. I'm tired of recording in the same spot. Let's go, like, let's go to a different area. Just solely because I think it'd be cooler to record in a different location. You guys know what I mean. And from here, guys, we also have the snake mode. So, um, basically, once you jump, y you're literally a snake. Okay, how did we end up falling through the map? I just, I want to know how that works, honestly. 
Um, yeah, let, apparently we're, all right, there we go. We're actually, we respawn outside the map, which is really dope. All right, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's see, we have teleport up. So when we do this, actually, let's turn that off because I've actually seen that does. Do not turn the teleport up mod on because your character is literally gonna be in space. And the only way to do it is if you just take the easy way out. Uh, but basically from here we also have the light respawn so basically when that what that means is when you die you're gonna be respawning instantly as fast as you can we have no walking animations so now you're just a stiff character walking forward we've seen this in recent videos before um, and then we also have the teleporting mod and underground mod so with underground mod basically it just teleports you underground kind of just like the uh, space one does because you know you basically get shot in space um, but basically with teleporting, I'm not really sure with this one. Okay, I've tried this one in the past. I don't know if you have to run the emulator or not, but essentially what, what I thought you could do is I thought you could like tap around the map and you'd basically teleport. But for some reason, either it's because I have all these different mods enabled, um, it might be affecting that, honestly. We also have the infinite uh, stamina. We've already checked that one out. Um, I'm pretty sure he has two of those. Maybe, oh, he says we need to reset our character. Okay, let's reset our character and then we're gonna try and try and do unlimited stamina i assume so let's just go all the way up to the top we're gonna go ahead guys and reset character just like that and there's just a ton of mods so you guys will see later in the video um but yeah so we respawned and uh, oh god okay um why are, why don't you just fall okay why are we like shooting in a space let's turn off teleporting because i have no clue um what that has to do with any of this but um yeah our character is like screwed I don't know how this affected my character. Like, I, need, I gotta figure out what this does. Almost. Okay, guys, so if you have Ragdoll and you die, it's actually gonna affect you when you respawn. So try not to reset and use the Ragdoll feature if you have other mods running or whatever. I'm not really sure why the map is like blinking. Like, I can see through space or whatever. Uh, anyways, from there, we also have, what other mods do we have here? We also have the Slim Body. So I'm not really sure about this one. I, my character is already kind of in a slim position, so I'm not really sure if that's even going to affect my character at all, but it might actually change for you guys as well. I may need to reset my character. We'll have to see about that. Uh, you can actually mess with your no chest, arms, or legs. So what, what I want to do is I want to go for no arms and no legs. I just want to be a floating chest and see what happens here. So we're going to click reset our character. And apparently we should respawn with our floating chest. Let's see if this is actually real. Okay, so weirdly enough... <laughs> Okay, you're just gonna fall over again? That's cool, dude. That's, that you, you do you, I guess. I don't even know. Um, apparently, now we are a floating chest, but uh, honestly, I, I, can, I can, I don't see my, I don't even see my chest anymore, so I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, please let me know, because that's a little confusing. But either way, I think it's really cool that you're basically like a floating head at this point. I mean, like, your, your, your wings and all that doesn't really get invisible, but it does what it says, which I think is really cool. You can actually freeze the camera. I've actually shown this in a recent video. But yeah, you basically can freeze the camera and walk around like this if you want to. It's kind of like a cinematic kind of shot if you want to do that. We also do letters. You can actually mess with the letters as well to look different in the game. So like, I guess if we pause the game, yeah, everyone's name is invisible. I'm not really sure what that really do for you, but you actually have like better names. For example, like you can press pause and uh, somehow they have better names. I have no clue. I guess it's like a different font change. So ask Bomb Hacker about that. He's actually in my Discord, I'm pretty sure. And he actually has his own Discord, so go check that out. And you guys should also join my Discord as well. Um, it's free invite links, it's in my description. So go, definitely don't feel, um, definitely don't feel like you can't join because everyone's welcome. But with that being said, let's go ahead and check out Darker Mode. Okay, so it actually makes like the day nighttime in some kind of sense. So that basically like a moon or something. We turn, it, we turn it off, and uh, yeah, it's daytime again. That's pretty cool. You actually add more light. I guess that's for like nighttime if you want to have a daytime, and you don't want you basically like if you don't want it to be nighttime, just turn on the lights. I guess <laughs> I don't know. Turn the turn on the light switch, um, and then from there we have to change map color. Okay, so this is new right here. The map is now like an icy bluish color. Not really sure how that helped you. I guess if you had like ESP, you could see people more easily in like other game modes or other games. Um, but that is still pretty cool after all. Chams. So this is really good if you're trying to do like PvP. You can see the enemies way easier. Um, but still, this kind of hurts my eyes to be honest with you. You actually have a crosshair size or a crosshair color. I like red. Uh, you can actually mess with this all you want. But uh, let's see. I would do that. That's pretty cool. So you can actually do see-through walls. I'm not really sure though. Can you actually see through the walls? Please let me know in the comments down below, but I'm just a little concerned about that because I'm pretty sure you might have to run an emulator, but if not, um, 
you may have to, um, you know, use the emulator, but if not, cool, you know what I mean? So we also have the speed hack, can crash, so apparently this can crash my game. Um, I don't really seem to be going any faster, but the jump definitely does work. Uh, so let's actually reset our character, because I just want to see, like, okay, maybe he was right, yep, he was right. Yeah, so that will happen, guys. To just open it back up, simply like that. I mean, it is what it is. He did warn us that it would probably crash, so I'm not worried about it. All right, guys. So let's just go ahead and click continue, continue, start menu, and we'll just go back into the game, I guess. I don't know why. I mean, then again, it did say it was going to crash, so that makes more sense. Uh, where were we? Okay, so from there, guys, we actually have the X-Ray 2D. Not really sure what the X-Ray 2D does, but we're about to find out. So let's actually join the guards this time. All right, there we go. So I'm not really sure. The X-Ray 2D, I'm not really seeing anybody like in 2D form, I guess. It's kind of weird. Uh, let me know if you guys know what that does because I'm kind of confused about that one as well. We also have the night mode. Not real. Let me see if it's actually nighttime outside. I should be able to get outside. I assume I should be able to. Uh, it looks like daytime to me, so I'm not really sure about that. You can maybe ask uh, Bomb Hacker about it. I'm not really sure. God mode, ghost mode. So apparently, you have more health with this mod. Uh, I say that as I die, but I'm not really sure. You guys let me know if that works. I mean, like, here's the thing, guys. With the Bomb Hacker menus, like, they either work half the time or they don't work half the time. That's why I like modders like Rev, because every time you use a mod from Rev, you're almost guaranteed it's going to work. But I can go ahead and give him the pass that Bomb Hacker is sort of new to Roblox modding or whatever. He's been doing it for a while, but, like, he's not as experienced as, like, Tia or something like that. But Tia has an entire team working for him, so... He actually wants me to record a mod menu for from Tia. Tia actually messaged me. He said that he wanted me to record one of his menus, but I can't release any more information as of now until he says I can, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. But basically, you actually have a line in the sky. So basically, here's why these mods haven't worked. I actually didn't realize this until now, but basically it says Mods for Emulator X8 Sandbox. Um, essentially what this means is every single mod on here will not work unless you run it with the emulator. I'm gonna try and link the emulator in the description and basically what it's going to do is what it says and then you're going to be able to use all these different like say chams or you know effects on map that kind of stuff like that guys but uh yeah man that is basically it for this video if you guys did enjoy it of course a like and a subscribe will be very very much appreciated as it really does help out my channel we're trying to get to 69,000 subscribers so if you guys could help me out That'd be dope. And uh, yeah, man, with that being said, I'll see you guys, of course, in the next mommy video. It's really nice to be back. And I just appreciate you guys for just even watching this video. If you made it this far, I respect you so much. And just thank you so much, guys. It really does motivate me to come back and make more videos. But with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys, of course, in my next mommy video. See you guys. Peace out.